Tristan, I got to ask you. Mm. Is there a better wine from Bordeaux in the 2022 vintage for exactly $160? Is there a bet anything better? I don't know. 160 bucks? Where are you putting your money? I mean, that would, Chateau Cannon would be definitely one of them. Definite, definite choice. Yeah. This wine absolutely knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I think I drank this barrel sample. I think I drank like three <laughs> barrel samples out of what? Was it 400 or something or? Yeah. I, I'm trying to remember which one was like, yeah, Palmer was good. Oh, you know, good. some of these were like really yeah. good, right? Cannon was the one was like, oh dear, okay. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. No, no, it, um, yeah, with, what Nikolai Odebert is doing at this property mm -hmm. is just nothing short of amazing. Not to mention the fact, I mean, obviously he's got a lot of d'argent at his mm -hmm. disposal, mm -hmm. you know, with Chanel being behind it. Mm -hmm. By the way, it is owned by Chanel. Uh, but terroir speaks for itself. And when you put all, everything together, the team, you know, we talked about this with Beauchamp de Bricot. Uh, we'll talk about it with other properties when you have uh, Thomas Duclos, you know, and it, it's just a, obviously it's a, a good, can, you know, how do you want to say, um, harmony, it's, it's, a, it's all together, mm -hmm. it's a, and, and again, it, it's another property, I mean, I, Canon was just okay, you know, in, in the past. I mean, it just takes probably, like... Yeah, probably more work put into this property than just about any other property in San Emilio in the last 30 years. Oh, no, no, no. Again, I mean, they, they, they redid this shiznit from the ground. Uh, it, oh, it, it is absolutely one of the most stunning -est, uh, estates. Yes. And the vineyard is amazing. The, yeah, the no, re every, everything about the estate. They, they just did everything. And, yeah. You know, the, the, the funny thing is this wine has that, that floral kind of wonderful, sappy, floral elegance that some of these 22s have, you know, the Duclos wines have. Yeah. Um, Kennel's real close to Beco, right? Yeah, right. Right Pretty next door to each right other, there. right, yeah. almost? Yeah. And this, I mean, the, both of both those wines had a real synergy. They were like kissing cousins yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in 22. And, you know, I might give the slight edge to Kennel just because I think the, I think Chanel's got a little more time working with Thomas and that kind of thing, and they're figuring it out a little faster. So maybe a slight edge this year to Canon, but that that area of San Emilion right now is is really distinctive. Yeah. Uh, the florals, the the expression of the wine, the it, it's plenty rich, but the, these wines aren't at all heavy. Um, no, no, no. That 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 is no. actually that is I think their the claim to fame for Canon is mm. it's not heavy. That, and same thing with like the Co. We're talking about yeah, these super, areas. Yeah. They're 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 elegant. They're, they're elegant pretty. Style. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. they're they're. They're multi-dimensional. They're layers. You know, it, it's not going for like an explosive, you know, uh, jammy in-your-face yeah. type of wine. Mm -hmm. They're going for this complexity style of wine, yeah. where when you taste it, it, like you said, the barrel sample was so good. You know, you, you could drink it. Yeah, but you have to be careful with the style, right? Because if you do it the wrong way, the wine can appear underwined. Well, um, yeah, but, you, but the you point is, really know, yeah. All that stuff. yeah. But yeah. the point is, th these are like perfect. You know what I mean? Like the expression, it's just mm. spot on. And I think it's a finer line than, than making wines that are too big, right? Over extraction, you're still gonna get someone going like, whoa, look at this wine, it's huge. Yeah. When you make wine like this, to me, it's a little more razor's edge from a winemaker and grape well, and standpoint, the, it, but. And I think also because when you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're tasting so many wines at a, at a sit down, mm. and the ones that kind of just dance on your palate, you take note of them and Canon dance. 2022 Canon. Drink it. We did. <laughs>